So it's only we can able to read this data, but we can't do any manipulation here. We can't do any manipulations. Clear, guys? We can't do the manipulation. That's why data virus is a non-volatile data. Okay. Next time variant. Time variant. So what is meant by time variant? So whatever the data we loaded into the data warehousing, we have to analyze this data, right? And which different different wizards, time wizards we have to analyze. For example, we have the yeah. What are the time wizards are there? I am going to explain here. For example, YTD, STD, QTD, MTD, week to date, this year, last year, previous year. Okay, I am going to write here, guys. PPY. Or this week, last week, like that, there are different kind of time widgets. Means, whatever the data you are, gen, you, whatever the data you are inserted here into data warehousing, that data we have to analyze in different time widgets. It has to support to analyze the data in different formats. What is meant by YTD means? So year to date, YTD is nothing but the year to date. Means, so whenever I apply the year to date, it has to fetch the data from the whatever the year you are starting for the your business. Okay, for example, now the January third, January we are in the January seventh. Means our year starting will be Jan first. Means one to seventh data it's going to fetch. Or if you take the financial year, financial year April to March. Then what happen? From April first to till date data, it is going to fetch. Whenever we apply the YTD functionality, it is going to fetch the year yearly data up to up to till date. Whatever the data is there from year scratching to till date, that whole data is going to fetch. That we call as a YTD. Clear guys? YTD means it is going to fetch the data. It is going to analyze the data from year. Based on the your year, whatever the year is starting, from that started start date to till date is going to calculate the data and then it is going to display. Like that, the data version data we can able to analyze with different time wizards. That is, it has to satisfy the data. For data version projects, it has to satisfy the with different time wizards we can able to analyze. Okay. STD means season to date. Means in our India we call it as a half year. First half, second half we call it. But in the US, UK they call it as a seasons. Spring season and fall season. They call it as a spring and fall. Okay. In our India will be half year, first half, second half. Now we are in the first half right now. Okay. So it will fetch the wherever the data is there. Season started, half year start. From that date onwards, it's going to fetch into the till now. Whatever the day you are selecting, from that day it is going to select. For example, I selected the December tenth. December tenth, twenty twenty one. Now tell me, guys. So year to date means what is going to fetch data? What data is going to fetch on year to date? From Jan first for year you are starting the year Jan first. From Jan first to, or we will write here, zero one, zero one twenty twenty one to, 
what is the date december 10 2000 yeah 10, december 10 12 2021. 2021 so this data is going to fetch if you apply the year to date if you apply the ytt functionality you selected the 10th december then the data is going to fetch from the the year starting okay based on the year starting it is going to fetch up to 10 12 2021 okay the intro point of view they are going to ask this question guys tell me what are the different time wizards have you worked on so like that they are going to ask in the intro point of view tell me what are the different time wizards you are, you worked on in your experience so you have to say these are all those things ytd std so in this case what is meant by std here season 2 date what data is going to fetch here so whenever I of the yeah. so what is the date uh, 001 2021 to no, not 001 so oh, sorry, it's a yeah, season right so our season. season our calendar is going to season we call as a july 1st up to jan to june we call as a one half year six months for seventh month onwards we call as a second half so in that basis we call as a 0107 2021 to till date means what are the date we selected so like that it will come the data it's going to fetch the data what are the sales happen what are the transaction happen for this date period this this date range that data is going to fetch clear guys here up to now in SQTD means quarter to date means we have the how many quarters are there four quarters right so this date is fall under the fourth quarter when is the start date quarter so it will be on october right october october 0, 1, 10 2021 to till date till date means 10 12 2021 which are the date we selected the same way month to date we have the yeah. So month to date means so twelfth month. So 0, 01 12 2021 to 10 12 2021. Those 10 days data is going to fetch. And week to dates means we have the, how many weeks are there? 52 or 53 weeks are there in a year. So it will fall under the 10, 12, which are fall under which week that week data is going to start. So 10, 12, when it's going to fall. So this is Friday. Maybe if you take the, your week start date will be Monday. Then it will fetch the data 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. This five days data is going to fetch. Or if you Sunday your start date, then 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. This six days data is going to fetch. So that is the, with different time wizards guys. It has to satisfy to analyze the data, data version data we can able to analyze within the different time wizards. Okay, these properties it has to satisfy the for data version project. If, if it is not satisfying any one of the data, it is not satisfying any one of the property characteristics, then we can't call it as this project is a data version project. Clear guys? So data warehousing project, the characteristics are subject oriented, integrated, non-volatile and time variant. Subject oriented is nothing but the, it is focusing on a single functionality or it is categorizing the same kind of data it is going to categorizing. So that we call as a subject, subject oriented. Integrated means it has to integrate the data multiple sources that is homogeneous or heterogeneous source, source systems into one unique system that functionality has, it has to satisfy non-volatile means once data entered into the data warehousing we can't do any manipulations it's a only read only data okay next time variant so time variant is nothing but the so whatever the data is we are going to load into the data warehousing, we have to analyze into different time wizards. It has to satisfy to analyze the different time wizards. 
like YTD, QTD, STD, FTD.